Welcome to Neville TV with the brand new Acer Aspire V5 Touch. This is a kind of cheap touchscreen notebook with a 15 or 14 inch uh, screen. As you can see, this is not a small device. It's quite of uh, quite hard to pick it up with only one hand. But let's first check out the technical details before we check out the notebook since it's available in different uh, with different text packs let's just see what this one has so we have an um, windows 8 install of course intel core i5 ivy bridge um, 3317u 15.6 uh, inch screen but it only has a, a 1366 x 768 resolution so quite low res but still totally okay and the price is also fair we have a geforce graphics inside 8 gigs of ram 1 gig ter uh, 1 terabyte uh, HDD space, a DVD burner, a Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, webcam, 4-cell battery with 2500 milliamps. so the battery life is about 3 hours if you use it with Wi-Fi and of course um, Office 2010 trial edition. Um, actually the other side of the box is a little bit nicer, so check that out right here. This is how it will look like when you look at it inside the store but let's put this on the side and let's see what the device itself can do but first since this is kind of also an unboxing we have this also inside the box the charger of course the PSU is totally fair in size as you can see it's uh, maybe one finger long and two fingers uh, thick and we have also quite a big ant here on the side um, and this should charge the notebook in about two hours so that goes quite fast and then we have also an adapter here which um, is a VGA and a LAN adapter since um, the notebook is so slim and actually there was not enough space on the sides to put in these two um, ports so you need to use this one if you will, will want to use it with your gigabit LAN or your VGA uh, projector maybe. So we have here the device itself as you can see it's a little bit glossy on the outside but not too much. You can see fingerprints a little bit uh, but it's totally acceptable like that and we have the ASL logo here on the front with which is already correct as far as I can see here on the R. That's not perfect but well my god. Let's see here on the side we have a headphone and microphone port in one. It's completely dark I know but it's kind of hard to yeah, well, this this way maybe it's a little bit better. So we have USB um, 2.0 twice, USB 3.0 once. And then we have here the HDMI port. And my camera just doesn't want to focus right now. So we have HDMI. Then we have here this adapter port, which I was showing you the two adapters for. Then we have power here on the back. So we have all the important ports on this side. A fan uh, right here. On the back there is only the battery and the hinges for the display. And on the other side we have Kensing and the... DVD drive which is a burner as I, as I already told you from the box. So you can see on the back we have here uh, this nice little space where you can upgrade the 8 gigs of RAM. Well I wouldn't necessarily do that. Otherwise we have the possibility to upgrade the hard drive also but there is quite a lot of Phillips screws here um, that you would need to take out. And also the battery here on the back, which as I said is not that big. It should be enough for about three hours of use. Um, even though on online they say four hours, three hours of active use is what we got. When you open it up, you will see that right away we have quite a lot of smudges on here. Let me actually turn it on. And you can see also that from the sleep state it turns on also quite quickly. Let me type in the password, which is Windows 8, simply with it. Uh, in this case so we have here a beautiful keyboard as you can see with one power button right here on the top numlock pad on the side and it's also actually backlit and um, you can also turn out uh, turn off the backlight but there is no um, state in between so you cannot set the brightness of the backlight of the keyboard just on and off but you can see here the different uh, function key buttons on the top um, beautiful big trackpad not in the center of the device but it's still totally okay it would be the center if um, the num numpad wouldn't be there and what I love about this notebook is actually that you can tilt back the display quite far almost 180 degrees as you can see here but of course when you will use it in a desktop mode you will only use it like this so you have also a camera here on the top and the microphone is not inside not right here somewhere it's i think maybe in the front or on the side uh, 
And what I totally forgot to show you is that we have here also an SD card reader and MMC card reader and two status LEDs. <laughs> so we have Windows 8 with touch, which is working beautifully. But as I already said, we have only a um, 1366 times 768 resolution here. I can, of course, make this a little bit smaller. Um, so it doesn't look too bad, actually. But if you have the browser open, you won't have so much fitting on the screen here. Um, but as you can see, it's working quite beautifully for zooming. So it's totally fast enough and everything to work um, in everyday usage um, scenario. But um, maybe it's not perfect if you um, really want to have a lot of content on your screen. I can, of course, um, flip here as always from program to program and check out different um, apps. Then we have, of course, here the possibility to also get a program and put it here on the side while you um, look at something else for example here a hands-on of a galaxy camera you can also of course close the programs but this, these are standard windows 8 features that you can also use um, by um, using actually just the mouse so you don't actually need the touch screen but it's always a little bit nicer to have the touch screen for example to play jetpack joyride also on here let's see how the the speed is so you have a full hands-on video also to this unboxing video which um, as we were able to see there's not too much inside the box the battery um, has about two and a half to three hours of wi-fi battery life which you can actually check out here if you go to the side you can see that we have about 60 percent and well it's okay and uh, we will go back to the desktop later and then i can show you on the bottom how much that does let me turn down the volume the sound is not that great as you can hear already it's quite of quite wonky let me turn off the sound um, there is no way to set the sound oh yeah okay, it's actually here on the bottom you can set the sound level so let's just go to two and then touch anywhere to play and then you can see this is running kind of smoothly as you were able to see there's, there's quite some programs running in the background you don't have to press the touch screen actually to play this game you can also use the mouse pad but it's actually i think harder with the mouse pad than if you use the touch screen um, but yeah again here resolution a little bit more would be nicer but well you can't have everything in tech especially if you want a low price and everything inside one box so thank you much for watching enable tv this is actually a three game jetpack joyride the next time please send in again and again here one hour and six minutes at 54 percent but of course you were playing a game before so uh, windows is planning accordingly um count to two and a half maybe three hours with Wi-Fi. So till next time, please send in again subscribe this was Endeavor TV with the Acer um Aspire V5 Touch.